Patrick. All right. Tell us some of the stories in there. I know R.C. Sproul talks about his own experience of learning what it means to die. I love well. that piece, Justin. Yeah. Um, he, I called it that my father taught me how to die. Uh, and it's a very personal piece by R.C., which mm -hmm. may be unusual because mm -hmm. he's generally so doctrinal. And, of course, it's doctrinally sound. But he tells the story of when he was a teenager, was not a believer yet, and his father had had a stroke and lived for three years mm -hmm. in the home um, with his speech impaired and unable to walk and spent most of his time in a chair. And R.C. would go and get him in the chair and put him in a fireman's hold over his back and would drag slash carry him to the dinner table so his dad could sit at that place of dignity in the head of the dinner table. And he tells about a day when he was taking his dad from the dinner table back to his chair, and his dad wanted to stop midway. And his dad, in his halting um, speech, which was somewhat unintelligible, was trying to say something to him. And what he was really trying to say was, I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. Uh, and R.C. writes that he then said the words that he regrets more than anything he's ever said his whole life which was he looked at his dad and said, Dad, don't say that. You know, he, he didn't want to think about his dad dying and didn't want to have that conversation. And, uh, and what's so beautiful about it is it was years later that R.C. came to Christ when he was reading there in Thessalonians. And he came to that passage and he read those words. I have finished the course, I have kept the faith, and he realized that's what his dad was saying to him, and what a powerful thing. And and he says, you know, my father taught me how to die, and that is how to die, to courageously look in the scriptures and look in the face of Christ with great confidence that I have finished my walk in faith. I think even those of us who've walked with the Lord a long time can identify with RC of just wanting to avoid the issue altogether. Oh, yeah. It's awkward, we, isn't it? Yeah, we love we love life now. We love thinking about heaven someday. Yeah. But that whole process of dying is is very scary even for many of us who are believers.